Hey guys. So, uh, here's an example of some reckless aggression. Which actually manages to pay off. That was a lobby. Um, and this is a UGC Platinum Highlander stream, in which I'm gonna be a little more prudent and not go for such kind of silly stabs. Um, however, I'm in kind of a tough spot here. Um, fortunately, I've got this teleport entrance here to give me a little ammo for a DR fame. And uh, here's my main objective, the Medic. I see him pull out his Ubersaw, so I know he's going to come at me around the corner. And uh, I go ahead and go for the Trick Stab, just because there's not much else I can do. I'm probably going to die if I don't. Um, and uh, here I'm going for Medic again. Um, always your primary target in Highlander, pretty much. And uh, I go for the Stab because uh, he's got full Uber, and again, I don't really care if I die for it. Um, now, I do encourage you to recommend... Uh, play the other classes. Uh, you want to know your enemy and know their strengths and weaknesses. And of course, knowing how to play Spy will give you a few tricks that you can use with them too. And there's another Highlander lobby. Um, TF2Center.com is a great place to get into Highlander if you haven't tried it yet. Um, maybe a good place to find some teammates for UGC to make a team and just get a little practice in it if you're in a higher league already. Um, this is Vidict. It's a map where you want to use your gun and your knife. A whole, both your gun and your knife a whole lot. Um, now, lobbies are great practice, but you can also just have fun with them. Um, it's not a very serious atmosphere. People are here just to either kind of practice or have fun, and you can kind of do wild stuff like this that you wouldn't do during a real match. Not that heavy. So there's another lobby. Um, when you're doing tight stabs like that on really fast moving targets, it's really important that you rely on prediction. Don't wait till you think you have the stab. Stab when you think you're going to have the stab. Right. Kind of stab into the future. Now here we are. No more Highlander. We're in a pub. So we're just going to purely have fun doing kind of silly things like spawn camping like that and that soldier and, well, just kind of generally trying to annoy, frustrate people and... You can either play just to have fun, or maybe try to just help your team win, and actually, it kind of works out that doing both of those, if you do them right, will kind of have the same results. Um, angry opponents who have been killed in kind of wacky ways tend to kind of get distracted from trying to cap the card, and tend to try to just kill the spy and get revenge. So let's play with our food a little more. Eh, boring. Let's go to the spawn. Oops! <laughs> Unfortunate timing. So notice I kind of walk into the pyro instead of away from him. Um, I do this because this kind of... I get into more into the radius of the flames. So if he turns and lights me on fire, he might. I can still strafe and he won't even quite know where I was or um, the flames won't hit me as much and I can feign without getting reignited. Fortunately, I didn't even get into guided at all that time. Ooh, close call. Alright, so not many places to go. I'm, this is an obvious decode spot, but I really need that health. So I'm just going to go to it and hope that I can fend off whoever comes at me. Um, fortunately, he's a little late coming towards me and uh, turns out to be a nice safe decode. Okay, I know this scout's not just going to go running away. He's going to keep looking for me, so I don't decloak right away and I extend my cloak with both the health pack, uh, the ammo pack, and the flare gun. Um, staying in the same place, so he's just running away from where he thought I was originally, and actually he ends up giving me a lot of distance from him, while I just pretty much stay in the same spot. <laughs> there you go, uh, jump! Jump, jump, jump! You can, uh, when you're not disguised, you can surf, uh, pipes, stickies, and rockets, other explosives, and, uh, get out of really sticky situations with them, with a little surf. And, uh, you know, trick stabs are lots of fun, but always, always, always keep your gun in mind. It's usually the more reliable option. But, uh, you know, when you see someone take out their melee and you know you're a little faster than them, eh, you know, go ahead. Use your knife. Now here I'm <laughs> kind of body blocking that uh, demo with my DR charge. Uh, he's trying to get away from my teammates, so I'm just like, ah, I'll make that a little harder for you. <laughs> he doesn't die, but at least I ignore him, annoy him a little bit and give him some damage. And he ends up going down in the long run. Now here I'm disguised as an engineer. This is the only class that can practically, practically be running the other way, facing away from the enemy. It looks like I'm just running back to my buildings. And, uh, well, the medic buys it. <laughs> it's that same engineer, and I'm kinda gonna focus this guy a lot, because he's, well, 
letting me know in the chat that he was getting quite mad, and um, <laughs> what can I say, I like that. It's, it's uh, good for my team winning, and well, good for me just being a happy camper. Come on. Come on. Okay, so definitely got to use my gun in this situation. Don't have full charge yet, but I'm close enough that I can go ahead and start getting into the action. Not sure how that pyro doesn't know where I am. He should probably grow a pair of ears. So, not around the cart. Might as well push it. Why not? At least we're going to keep it from moving backwards. And, hey, he's got down. Now, here's our old friend. Now, if this were a normal situation, I'd jump uh, further towards the health pack and stab him, but um, I'd kind of rather get in this guy's face and uh, go na 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 na. <laughs> uh, no, when you know you got someone outclassed, uh, you can have a lot more fun with them. And be, well, a jerk. Medic down. Now this, believe it or not, is a Highlander TF2 center lobby. Um, you'll note player quality really varies in these. You'll get pub quality sometimes, and you'll see quite a few UGC Platinum players like we saw in that first clip. Um, oh, it's Team P, the Pyro, um, former teammate, and really, really fantastic player, one of the best. So you get ones and tens. Um, this lobby is mostly below fives, um, which is okay, you know, everyone starts somewhere and TF2 Center is a place to learn and it's for all skill levels, so don't don't feel like you need to be ready for it to, before you start getting in there. Just be ready to face some really good players and have a challenging match. Now, the main thing these guys are doing wrong in this lobby kind of allows me to have all the success you see and are going to see is um, they're really split up. With higher level teams, you never see players alone this much. Um, and good lord, I, I just, I don't know how this pyro lost me out. No comment. <laughs> uh, should have at least been pursued there. But I know he's still around looking, so... Uh, keep an eye out for that little guy who's still alive. Okay, now we have a disguise. Um, in higher level Highlander, this loadout, by the way, is one you just do not want to use. Never use this. Eternal reward, you can kind of squeeze it in once or twice in a match for a little surprise chain stab and just to kind of screw with your opponents, but typically not a very good choice. And especially with the dead ringer, it just, it, it, it won't work. Um, now there, I, I might have been able to get that jump stab. I don't know. Um, I wasn't sure, so I put up my DR. If I were a disguised as a faster class, sure. Would have gotten it. It's harder to trick stab with slower classes, but um, you basically just have to rely more on uh, rotating than strafing and let your opponent get a little closer to you before you go for the stab. Here I'm a nice fast class, so it's going to make um, things a little easier. I have a very weak gun, uh, Latranger, so I'm mostly relying on my knife here. Okay, lone teleporter. Never want to let these go to waste, right? Um, but I'm being kind of a chicken. I keep up my dead ringer while I'm camping it, and that slows me down just enough that the pyro manages to uh, turn causing a fail stab. And uh, no comment on that one. So see how split up they are? They're all just divided and it makes it really easy for me to pick them off one by one as opposed to sneaking into a compact unit and picking off one from the herd. Again, this pyro's all alone. If he had a little support, this wouldn't be happening to him. He should just be sticking with this medic um, and defending his teammates rather than running around looking for me. Again, these two are separate and goodness gracious. Now, <laughs> I don't know why that sniper's not wearing a razor back. Um, he's giving me a free disguise and some free points. Um, in higher level play, pretty much all snipers run the, ra the razor back, and if they're not, they're kind of insulting you. Um, you got to keep picking them until they Throw away the Jurati and stop peeing on your teammates. Say, hey look buddy, I know you want to throw that, that char, but sorry, you're going to have to wear a shield on your back. And, you know, just stay alive as much as you can, make them think about the spy, and make yourself a factor in the game, even if you're not getting kills. 
And remember, always have fun. Okay, guys. Thanks for coming out. Hope to see you soon. Take care.